Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Tea Time. This is Teresa and it is Thursday, November, November, December 9th and uh, we are on the cusp of another weekend, um, the last couple of weekends before Christmas. So I hope you're doing all kinds of holiday things. Um, I know I am and today is evidence of that because I'm going to bring you, I have a couple, I've got like three or four different Christmas crafts that I have yet to film. So I gotta get going. Because in a couple of weeks it's Christmas. And then guess what? We're done. So, as far as Christmas crafts go. So today I'm gonna bring you a couple of different crafts. One, we're gonna do some snowballs for a galvanized metal bucket that I have. And some peppermint sugar scrub. So it's double trouble today. Um, so I hope you enjoy these uh, DIYs. I hope that your December is going very well. I hope you're all healthy and happy and uh, spending time with family and remembering. You know, it's not about the gifts. It's about the crafts. So enjoy this. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I do have some new subscribers. So welcome to my channel. And um, I'll be back with you in a few days with another craft. Bye. Okay, uh, supplies. I have some styrofoam balls, and they're six in each package. They are they were a ridiculous uh, amount at the dollar store. I don't know what's going on with styrofoam these days, but I almost just buy them. But that's just because I have a preconceived notion of how much things should cost at a dollar store. And these did not meet my expectations. So, but anyway, we got them. Because I needed snowballs, right? So, I didn't really have a choice. And they knew that. They knew that going in. So, okay. So, I have six. I'm just going to do six for video's sake. Let me see if I can. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I have, uh, they're pretty small. But that's okay. I don't care. I've got some Mod Podge here, which is uh, school glue and water. And I've got some snow, which is just prepackaged fake snow that I bought at the dollar store. And I think there's two packages in here. One from the dollar store and one from Target Dollar Spot. So I think we're good to go. So what I'm going to do, if these don't roll off the table, whoa, it, whoa. Okay, balls roll, in case you didn't know that. So I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm just going to, you know, paint a good uh, coat on these balls. I don't know why I feel weird saying balls. I don't know. Okay, I'm just a, a young child at heart. Um, I think these are going to look so cute in that basket next to the snowman, which is where I'm going to put them. And of course... I will put in a picture after I'm finished. So once I coat them with Mod Podge, then I'm just gonna dip them in this fake snow. Oh, they look so cute. They really look cute. Okay, so once I get them dipped properly, then I'm just gonna lay them on this aluminum foil to dry. And we're just gonna keep going you know, with each ball. So, yeah, I bought a new camera a couple of weeks ago, and, okay, it was horrible. It was only $100. It was on sale, but the color was horrible. I made a video with it. So, if you look back at my wreath that I made for my daughter, you'll see the color was awful, and there was no adjusting it. You could adjust resolution and brightness, but there was no way to adjust the color. So the color was what it was, which was horrible. So I have returned that camera to Amazon. And I'm just going to hang on until, you know, I can get a, a really nice camera um, with a light on it. And there's some other things I would like for the camera to have. This camera is okay. Um... But again, you know, I would really like to have one that had an extra light on it. Because some of my house is dark. 
and when I do um, tours and stuff I would like to have the extra light so that's that so there's another one what else can I talk about Christmas um man is it sneaking up on me or what good news uh, I've got all my Christmas shopping done and most of my wrapping so I do have a few little things to wrap and I'm going to take care of that tomorrow uh, which is Friday since I have the day off because guess why it's my birthday so feel free to flood me with birthday wishes um no I'm kidding I don't have to I mean you could if you wanted to it's a free country right um, I was hoping to be able to save both the Mod Podge and the snow and put them in containers. Um, I don't know how well that's going to work out. I don't know how much um, snow is going to end up in the Mod Podge and how much glue is going to end up in the snow. So we'll see when we're done. I don't like to throw things away if I can save them, but if I have no practical use for them in the near future, you know, what am I going to do? You know, what would, what would you do? What would Jesus do? No, that's awful. Um, so I'm just going to keep going along here. Guess what happened earlier today? You're never going to believe it. My dog, Scotty, which I don't know if I've... I'm going to put a picture of him in here now. So you can see what I'm working with. Um, <laughs> he heard me call his name. What you doing, buddy? He actually uh, pooped in the dining room today. I was really shocked because he, I mean, when I got him, he was a year old and he was house trained. And for all intents and purposes, he, um, you know, is very good about that. But for some reason, he pooped in the dining room. And I had just let him outside. Maybe I didn't leave him out there long enough. I don't know. But it was a shock to me. And, I mean, I scolded him for it. But, I don't know. Maybe he had a stomach thing going on. He seems alright, though. Right? Are you okay, buddy? So there's that. <laughs> Look at my hands. Um, I don't know what to do with this. I guess I'll put it in the trash. So one last one. These are really turning out cute. Um, I did actually buy a package of, I don't know what they're made of. Maybe I'll go get them. Hang on. Well, here, I'll put them in there. I'll show you what I got. In addition to the styrofoam balls, I actually bought a package of snowball decor at the Dollar Tree that I was going to add in with these snowballs. These are, does it say what they're made of? I don't know. They're just puffy material balls. They're smaller than the snowballs, but I thought, how cute, right? Now, there was only one package when I bought that, so obviously I only got one package, but had there been more, I probably would have bought them and uh you know had them for other crafts or whatever wreaths anything you know what you could do with these you could make a, make a very cute garland with these too but i can't because i've only got one package but you know if you find them buy them okay so there's the six we're going to let those dry and I will take you to the bucket in the dining room and show you the final product. And until then, guess what? We're going to go on to the next craft. We're going to do a peppermint sugar scrub for my friend Laura at work who's been asking me, when are you going to do that peppermint sugar scrub? I'm like, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. But yeah, I've been procrastinating and doing all kinds of other frivolous things. But here we go, Laura. Here's your peppermint sugar scrub. Hold on. Okay, we're in the kitchen. And we have four cups of sugar. 
and I did not measure the coconut oil or the vitamin E oil because guess what uh, I like mine a little sugarier than oily so my measurement not measurement might not be to your liking so my advice is just to add the coconut oil and the vitamin E oil or the olive oil or whatever you're putting in here put it in until you get the consistency that you want um, I don't know I, I picked a, a larger jar so I I hope this is not too much okay so I'm gonna split this kind of in half because wait dang it I forgot wait before you split it in half <laughs> Um, okay. So let's, when you have all the sugar in the, in the same bowl, that's when you're going to put the peppermint oil in. So what is this? It's McCormick Pure Peppermint Extract. I mean, we're not going to eat it. It is food safe, but I'm just using it for this. So I'm going to put in one tablespoon, two three I don't know is that enough we'll see when we stir it up I want it to be really uh, strongly peppermented is that a word peppermented wait let me move you back just a little there we go I can smell it mmm that smells good I mean, is there anything as refreshing or satisfying as peppermint? I don't think so. I'm going to stir this up. Let me smell it. I don't know. Okay, let's just, I'll tell you what. Let's just go ahead and split it in half in this other bowl. Okay. And then, you know what? I'm gonna put a little more peppermint oil in it. Another tablespoon in there and a tablespoon in here. Or is that a teaspoon? It's a teaspoon. <gasps> so the reason why I split it in half is because I'm gonna color, I'm gonna add some color to um, half of it. Okay, so where's my, okay, so this is, let me look, this is a Wilton color, it's a gel, it has no taste, um, okay, so I'm going to put, oh, I better use a fresh spoon, I'm going to put, I have this name fit in there. Let's use one of Charles's spoons. <laughs> It'll fit. He doesn't use these anyway because guess what? He's grown up now. <laughs> he doesn't like to use baby spoons or baby plates. He wants whatever you're eating your food on. I don't know. Let's see if I can get this mixed up in a timely manner. Looks like I'm, I'm, I better pause it. Hold on. Alrighty, um, just a couple of uh, public service announcements. If your coconut oil container has a little bit of foil around the top, don't put it in the microwave. Um, just telling you. It may or may not start a small fire. Okay, we're all right. Um, everybody's okay. And if you have liquid food uh, coloring, use that instead of the gel because uh, that was a lot of stirring. Okay, so now we have our container. So we're going to start dumping our sugar scrub in here. I can't wait to use this. My hands are very dry. And I am also going to use it in the shower, but mostly for my hands. Okay, so we got like, wait, maybe I shouldn't put that much in. Okay, so we got a little bit in, right? And now let's go ahead and put some red in. 
or pink. It's actually red. I put quite a bit of that in there. I hope that doesn't stain my skin. Well, you know, we will, <laughs> we will find out. If it does or not, I'll let you know. Okay, so then there's a red layer. And then we're going to do another white layer. Oh, and FYI, my dog is fine. I don't know why he poopied in the dining room. And it was regular poop. I mean, not that you really want to know this. But it was normal poop. It wasn't like sick poop. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I think maybe I didn't leave him outside long enough. He acted ashamed of it. I mean, he, he hung his head in shame. So, I mean, at least he has some cooth. But, yeah, I mean, like, it's been... Like, I don't even know if he's ever pooped in the house. Um, this is terrible, isn't it? I should have not put so much in to begin with. It's okay, though. You know why? Because nobody's going to see it but me and you. But guess what? This was actually the perfect amount of sugar. Okay. So, let me go rinse my hands off. So what I'm going to do, now I'm keeping this for myself. So I'm not going to cover the top with any material. Um, that's horrible. I should have put a layer of pink down here. But again, you know, you learn from my mistakes. So do it that way, not the way I did it. And like I said, this is for me, so it doesn't really matter. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, don't grade me on technique or execution. Just on... Um, you know, the effort. And I love you guys. And I will be with you. Oh, guess what? So the next craft I'm going to do is I bought some little ginger, not gingerbread houses. I bought some little houses from the Dollar Tree, um, Christmas houses. And I'm going to paint them and, and remake them into little gingerbread houses. So that's my next craft. And I, I've got a head start on it. I've already got the base coat of brown on all of them. So when I come back to you with that video, we'll be able to do the fun part, which is decorating. So have a great night. I love you guys, and I will see you in a few days. Bye-bye.